Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got another scoop to review. And I presume a carbon fiber handle. Says one of two. Now this is a fancy ticket in this box. If you've seen Gig's video, you've seen one of them already. This is just going to be my review. So I'm going to take it out of the box and we'll take a look at it. I'm not going to weigh it. It's got a, a picture with all the information, the size and the weight and all that on there. Take your nitroglycerin. It's coming out here now. Look at that. Boo boo. Chris can actually pick him up now and carry him around the house. He won't sit in her lap yet, but he's carryable for a short distance. There it is. Got a little nice little holes in the back. Other holes, octagon holes, I guess you call them. i tell you one thing though, this baby is super light. I'll have to look at the sheet I've copied over to see how, what it does weigh. It's, I mean, it's light. I can't believe how light it is. It's not as light, it's, it's way lighter than the one I got from Tony. I might be the only guy in the world who's got two titanium scoops. And here's the carbon fiber handle. It's a little bigger in diameter than the one that came from uh, Chuck. It's got a 45, 50, 80 degree wedge in the bottom of it. Slides down into there. This washer screws onto the bottom of it and holds it in from the bottom. And gives you an Allen wrench to tighten it up right here. Complete package. You get a nice t-shirt. You get a motor script. Y'all are familiar with those. I've been using that baby right there for years. I got a buddy of mine's got a scoop with three of these on it. I can't imagine how that works. He, he gets all tangled up in it sometimes, but he sure got three. And a nice pouch. I mean, this is a nice pouch. Okay. Let's get her all put together here. You can see the nice reinforcements inside of it. Not like the Slava Scoop, that didn't have any reinforcements. And I'm not sure, it's been so long since I had a stealth in my hand, the new model, the 920i, I can't remember. If that's got it in there or not. It's got nice little brackets welded right here. Looks pretty sturdy to me. It's got a red stripe right here on this handle. I'm gonna to have to call them and ask what that's for. Beautiful welding. I like the little holes there. Now, I'm not keeping this scoop now. It's not mine. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm going to use it, test it for a while, and then I'm going to send it back to Extreme Scoops or send it to one of y'all who wants to test it or possibly buy it. That's the deal I made. I got enough scoops. At my age, I got enough scoops to last 100 people. But I tell you one thing, that's nice and light. I 
I may have to get the scales out just to weigh it, complete with the handle in it. We do that when we come back. We're going to take her for a spin here in a minute. Now this baby is light. It weighs 3.2 pounds with the shaft in it and the motor's grip. I'm getting ready to go pick up the Mumbles man now. I'll get back to you. You have to give Roslyn a lot of credit for his design. When Chuck first came out with that stealth scoop, I guess in the 70s, with the round bottom, kind of a thinner top, that was a nice scoop. He kind of got the design going. A couple years later, Roslyn came out with his design which was lighter, became very popular. And then somebody copied Rosalind's and was selling them over there in the country where he lives. And then Chuck modified all his scoops to the 925i, which looks very similar to this one. Stream came along and made this one. They've all improved on it. Now you got three pounds of titanium. It's unbelievable. I'm not kidding you. Let's see if we can get a picture of the handles. It's hard to tell about the difference in the diameter. This is Chuck's, Chuck's handle. This is the one in the extreme. It is bigger diameter, which is okay. This one is uh, four years old, I think. And it doesn't have a scrape or scratch or any damn thing on it. Maybe five years old. I'm not sure how old it is. Everybody talks about, well, I can get a wooden one for $15. And you can. I use wood for a long time. But they all break off right along here, get rotten. And you got to drill them out and bang and clang to get it out of there. I said I'd never buy a carbon fiber handle. They're too expensive. But I made a lot of mistakes in my life. That was one of them. I got one now I wouldn't give you. If I had to pay a lot of money for one, I would. That's just that much difference. And, and weight and the way it feels and the last ability of it. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to last. It floats. Don't go in the water. Of course, wood floats too, but I just did a splitting wedge and a lawnmower blade. This lady says, I'm going to send over my axe for, for getting sharpened. My husband chops wood with this. So I got it. I said, lady, that's not an axe. That's a splitting maul. Oh, no, he uses a cut wood with. <laughs> I, damn, I told her I'd kill Hercules to try to chop wood with that baby. She's coming to pick it up in a minute or two. All right, I got to go. I'll see you in a few minutes on the beach. Okay, here we go. Gray Matter City. We're going west today. We ain't going east. We're going west and look if we can find some gray matter just to dig with. Where Flotopia was. We got like a little ripple right here. Looks like it gets better down that way. So far, no targets. Crush target 18. Titanium. Go get her, baby. God, light. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, I think it's something big now. I don't think it's going to be worth a damn. I think it's big and irony now. Big and irony ticket. Picks up here. 
goes all the way over there. Never mind. Very deep. Titanium digs first gray matter. I don't have any scoops it was, I lost count, but a lot. Kind of iffy, kind of iffy. I think I'm gonna give up on it. Too much iron. But it sounded good for a minute or two. That's the way that crap is sometimes. Seventeen. Six scoops deep. Kind of up high. We may have to hunt up high a little bit. Maybe that wind pushed a lot of the stuff up high. We've been hunting kind of low, you know. I don't know. Got something, something else right here. Twelve. See what 12 is. I tell you one thing, this thing goes in the sand good. It's sharp and thin, you know. I can't get over how light it is though. All right, it's 12 out of the sand. I can't find a damn thing. 
Unless there's two targets here. Now I know that target's right here somewhere. Let's see what this is. Another piece of can. But this is another target here. Nope, nope, mistaken. That was it. 27, 28. Stand by a minute. It's getting deeper. Iron. I give up. Solid. Four, five, I mean five, six, seven. Right in this slough, you see it? We had a ripple cut. Three seven out of the hand, out of the hole. Scoop. Fell through, I guess. See them bigger holes. We'll check her out a little bit. That wasn't it. This is getting ridiculous. Well, titanium takes us ring. Broken. But it's a ring nonetheless. Got ice in it too. Broke right there. Okay. Ten feet away. We got a screeching twenty-five. I see it looks like a penny, a cruddy penny. No, it's a ten meter cent. Ten meter cent. Look at that. Yes, sir. Glad dime. I got a baby cut right here. Only place on the beach. There's a baby cut.
16. Well, the little holes might be good in the water, but they ain't too good here when you shake it. Whatever this is, it's falling through three times. That's teeny right there, ain't it? A little piece of aluminum. Damn. Unbelievable. I gave the titanium to the moles, man. Let him try it out for a while. Say how he likes them. Thing. This thing is light. Light, it's still. It's lighter than mine. Yeah, it's plenty light. Jumped between two and five, but it's pretty solid. Now it's got some irony sound to it with a scoop off of it. Three and four out of the ground. Looks like a piece of snap or something. Okay, How about mid beach. How about mid beach.
I think we'll try right along here. Looks good right here. We got rocks. See them? All through here. The only place we found like that. I don't hear it no more. No. All right, right there. Right there? I bet there's a bottle cap then. I dug one a minute ago. Right there. Oh. Iron. I hear a little bit of something. It's right in here somewhere. Right here. Well, the 17 right here. Well, Your iron's right there. Yeah, I know. I, but something I right here. I, see if I you can hear that. I don't it see it don't it. sound good, though. Twelve. Solid twelve. Come on, titanium. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Must have fell through. I don't see no twelve. Yep, right there.
There it is. A solid eight. Oh. Stainless steel pin from a Hobie cat. I mean, I have rigger pins. I got a seven. I don't know what it is. <coughs> it's a beautiful afternoon. Some pretty cool clouds. Well, I think I told you I had my uh, cataract taken off my right eye last Wednesday. Well, they did the left eye yesterday, I mean, this Wednesday, this past Wednesday. So now I got two bionic lenses for distance. But I went back to the doctor yesterday for a checkup after the Wednesday procedure, and I told him, I said, you know, my right eye is as good as it was when I was born. I can read every book, I can read every fine print. The lens is supposed to be for distance. You're supposed to have to use readers to read small print. Well, I told him that wasn't the case with me. He said, well, that happens on occasion with certain people. So my other left eye is just now adjusting. It should be, I don't know, probably almost back to normal tomorrow. It's uh, almost perfect right now, but it ain't quite there where it was. But what's so amazing about this, now the all that have already had this done, you already know the color. The colors are extraordinary. You never realize what the colors look like. They looked okay with your old eyes, but with your new eyes, well, new lenses, I guess you would say, the colors are extraordinary. I'm amazed. It's so, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. I mean, it's just different. I asked him, would my eyes stay like that where I wouldn't need any readers forever? He said, well, that's a good possibility. But only time will tell, he said. But right now, I'm very happy. I'll get back to you. Well, here we go. El Nato. Two gray matters. Two pennies. One dime. Some little teeny crap. Spark plug. I think you saw that stuff right there. I did dig five bottle caps. I threw the rest of them away. I thought I threw that one away, but I didn't. Uh, you saw that. You can see the ice shining in this baby. You saw that little cross. That's it. Well, at least we had something to dig today. We, I like the last time we went there, we didn't have any targets, but we did have a few things to dig. I put the mumbles man's nut in here. And the guru sent me a picture. Of, he had a he got two days worth of spins in one picture. 
he did have some kind of ring, but apparently wasn't gold. But you can see it if you look really hard. I'll put it in the back there. I'll get back to you.